you ever have those times where you write down an idea and you think to yourself, I'm just gonna write down this one little line, gonna save it real quick, and then I'm gonna go about my day and I'm gonna remember what that thing was. Trust me, you're never gonna remember. So the other day I was about to go watch a movie. I was actually in the theater and I was sitting down and I was this thing popped in my brain and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to put this in my Evernote. And so I did and I put the subject line and it was such books, much wow. And then I saw it today, uh, you know, a, a, five days later. I have no idea what it means. So instead, I'm going to make up what that means. Not really make it up, but talk about something slightly different because I have no idea. No idea what I was going to talk about, but today we talk about TBR piles that are highly unmanageable because thanks to the publishing industry who just keeps pumping out books like no one's business, it's their business, but you know. It gets to be a little too much sometimes. I actually saw a tweet about this um, probably a month or so back in which this girl was like, I feel like I'm in over my head trying to keep up with everything and trying to maintain a steady flow of books in my life with TPR piles and things and I was like, oh, I know that frustration. I know it so much right now because BEA, Book Expo America, is about to happen um, next week and ha. Ah, my TBR pile is still, like, this high. Somewhere. Somewhere in there. Now, I'm probably a little bit shorter than that. I'm probably exaggerating just a little bit. But, but, I want to read, like, five of these books before I go to BEA because they're books that I've been holding on to since, like, November, October, sometime in 2013, maybe even earlier. I actually have some books from uh, BEA 2012. Let's, let's go there. Let's go there. I still have books. I do. I only got 30. I only brought home, well, sent home 30 books because let's be honest, you're not going to bring home all those books with you. You send it to yourself. You go to that United States Postal Service where the guy is super nice and he's super awesome and tells you awesome stories. You package up your books. You send it home for 10 bucks. Don't do that FedEx stuff. Trust me. Anyway, I, I feel like I'm ranting because am because I'm just sitting here and I'm frustrated because I can't read all the books and apply for all the jobs and do all the things all at the same time so I have a lot of frustrations and I'm just like how do you do all the books? My solution is always to take one book at a time. You can only read one book at a time. Well technically you could maybe read two books at the same time, read an audio book, read a you know, regular book. I would not suggest that, and I would not maybe suggest reading two books, one in the morning and one at night or something, because I lately have been getting books confused so, so much that I have to just do one at a time. It's like eating a, an elephant, one bite at a time. One. I'm just not one of those people who's going to read 200 books in a year, and there is no shame in reading so many books in a year. That is totally fine. I'm just one of those people who reads maybe around 50 books a year and I am totally fine with that. It just sometimes gets a little bit pressuring when there are so many books coming out all the time and it's just like so much flooding into your eyeballs and into your brains and you're just like, how? What do I do? Because you want to keep up with the times. You want to keep up with, you know, appearances, you know, especially on booktube when you've got so many young adults, new books coming out and it's flashy and it's fun to keep up with everything because you want to keep up with discussion and you want to go to the live shows and you want to do this and you just kind of... I'm making all of the ladylike sound effects today, you guys. It's just so much sometimes, you know? You know? So how do you deal with the really ridiculous TBR piles that you've made for yourself either on Goodreads or your physical pile or you've got a freaking room in your house dedicated to all of the books that you have that are unread? How do you do it? Let me know in the comments below and I hope you all have a great day and keep reading!